Christ transformed life. It transformed me from a sinner. For someone who loves the truth, someone with idolatry, transformed me into a new life in Christ. And my testimony today is the same God has saved me and not only he was saved, but willing to save you as well. So when Jesus is the man who preaches the gospel, he said, Go and preach to the whole creation, but any that those who believe shall be saved. Today I thank God for that mercy. He said to me, But any that those who do not believe shall be condemned. And he said, Why does the world need destruction and many are on it? doesn't care whether you have a million dollars or whether you're homeless. God doesn't care whether you're black or white or whether you're male or female. God judges your heart. You know, so it doesn't matter whether you're a corporate executive or whether you're homeless. God looks at your heart. He doesn't judge you by what's in your heart. So you might think that's good news. You know, that God doesn't care if you're rich or poor, black or white. But if you consider what's in your heart, it might cause you great fear. Because God knows what's in your heart, whether you're uh, a rabbi or a priest or the pope or whether you're an executive or homeless. God knows everything you've ever done, everything you've ever thought, everything you've ever said. I mean, to know that God knows the things that you'd be ashamed to tell your best friend about could cause great fear in your heart. The things that might cause you to blush that you've done, God knows those things. Because God doesn't look at the, look at the appearance. I mean, you could be wearing a burqa and clothe yourself in modesty. You could be a priest in fine clothing. It doesn't matter because God looks at your heart. You could be proud of your homelessness, your pride. You could be proud of your, uh, your uh, bank account or your job. But God looks at your heart. And you know what the Bible says about the heart? The Bible says the heart is deceitfully wicked. Above all things, who can know it? The Bible says we're all born with a heart that loves ourselves more than anything else. We're born with a heart that loves money, we love, love possessions and things. We're born with a lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. And so Jesus Christ said to every man and woman here today, He said, you must be born again. To be born once in the flesh, loving sin, Jesus Christ said, you must be born a second time, born of the Spirit, loving the things of the God. Born of the Spirit, loving righteousness, and not loving sin anymore. You must be born again. So that's my message today. My message, not like the occupiers, my message is a message of hope and reconciliation with God. Because the Bible says that Jesus Christ is God and He came to this world to save sinners. He came in to save the lost. So today, if you think you're a good person, He didn't come for you. He didn't die for you. He didn't shed His blood for you. He came to save sinners who acknowledge their guilt. It would be broken over their heart, would be broken their sin, and they cry out for His help and mercy. And the Bible says He is mighty to save. He can save the animals. He's not only able to save, He's willing to save.